All right, welcome to my Hawkeye Bundle gameplay and review video. As you can see right here, it says former Avenger Hawkeye, a.k.a. Clint Barton, and his Archer superfan Kate Bishop are setting their sights on the Fortnite island. And these are just two of the items from the new Hawkeye set. Pretty sweet. Let's go check out the rest of them. So here you go. Here is the full bundle. The total price is 2,400 V-Bucks. It's not really 4,800 as depicted down there. So you get Hawkeye himself, Clint Barton. Now, I am a little disappointed in the face on this one. This does not look like the actor that portrays him in the Marvel movies or in the Disney Plus series, which I haven't seen yet. But I know the original actor still plays him in that. And then this back bling cracks me up. This has got to be a typo, right? It's called Hawk Guys Arsenal. Is that really what it's supposed to be? Hawk Guys instead of Hawk Eye? There's no way that's intentional, right? That's got to be a glitch. Then we've got Kate Bishop. I just love this color scheme on both characters. Although it looks a little more brighter on this one, and I love it. So again, I have not seen the Disney Plus version of Hawkeye, so I am not very familiar with who Kate Bishop is. As far as I know, she wasn't in any of the Avenger movies, as far as I know. I've seen them all, but I just don't remember her. Here's Kate's quiver, a little smaller than Hawkeye's, but pretty sweet. The Pick Ross bow, kind of a pickaxe and a crossbow mixed together, I guess. And we've got the taut slicer, knocked and ready for action. I think that's how you say that, right? Where the bow is taut. Isn't that how you say it? Taut? Where the string is like hard to move. Then the aerial archer. I am really excited to see this. It looks like, well, actually, I don't know how it works. Do you hold on to those things on the side? It's got to be a new animation for gliding, and I can't wait. And lastly, if you buy this bundle, you get this awesome loading screen, both of them in action with their bows. Pretty sweet. So individually, you could purchase them 1500 1500 800 for the glider, 500 for the first pickaxe, 500 for the second, but you would not get the included loading screen, unfortunately. By the way, if you want to buy this, you could use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime. Show me on Twitter, and I'll give you a reply. So I'm going to start with Hawkeye himself and the Hawkeye's arsenal backfling. That still cracks me up. So real quick, I wanted to see something. In one of the crew packs, we had the green arrow skin. And I wanted to see if they copy and pasted his back bling and just turned it purple. Hmm. You know what? Let's just compare those real quick. Because that looks awfully similar. Let's just mark them both as favorites so we can cycle back and forth. Uh, no, okay, they're not copy-pasted. I mean, there's only so many ways you can make a quiver. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to see that. I was just curious. So this is his pickaxe, the taut slicer. So we've got his entire set equipped. Now, they're both purple and black color scheme. So we have tons of purple and black wraps. Let me just see if I can find a good one that matches him. So again, his purple is more darkish compared to Kate's, who's a lot more pinkish purple. I'm gonna go with Storm. I think that matches it pretty closely. We'll see in game though. All right, let's check this out. We're gonna go into Battle Lab and see what he looks like. Why am I all holographic-y? Is that a word? Yeah, look at that. Weird. All right, here, moment of truth, the new aerial archer. Here we go. Are you kidding me? Look at how he holds onto that. Holy smokes, it's like he's windsurfing here. Look at that. Let's do that again. So it's like a giant crossbow, first of all. Look at how he's holding it. This may be one of the coolest glider animations we've ever had. And watch when you press forward, he kind of pulls back and leans back. So it makes a very strange noise too. I'll be quiet so you can listen. Here we go. Almost like a bubbly, gurgly type noise. Here's backwards. Ooh, the flame goes out. And again, he pulls backwards. That's so cool. Pulls to the left, leans to the right. Two steps this time. Boom, boom. That is cool. Here's around the clock. Woo! That is a sick glider. I like it a lot. Pretty sweet. Must be getting ready for that Green Goblin collab. Well, in the dark at least, this purple does not really match at all. It's a little disappointing. Hmm. Hey, 
Turn off that light, please. Oh, there it goes. I was like, wow, that took forever. Ah! And the light goes out. Nice. All right, so first the pickaxe. Here's the pull-out noise and animation. It's pretty nice. See if it has a contrail. Yeah, it's got a little purpley black after image effect there. How about a splash effect? Let's go beat up a tree. I like how he holds it. It's pretty cool. Okay, I can't tell. We're gonna have to look in the locker. It looks like a unique splash. It's kind of an orangish color. I'm really struggling to identify it though. We'll be able to tell for sure in the locker. So that's not bad. I was a little underwhelmed in the actual item shop with it, but like I said, that's not too shabby there. So the skin itself is very plain, I'll admit. The back bling looks good. The color scheme goes great. Everything matches perfectly. Nice black and purple. Spin him around here. I can't get over that face though. I don't know why they didn't replicate the actor's appearance. Maybe he didn't give him permission. I don't know. So he's got one glove on. That probably helps him shoot a little better. I'm not a big Hawkeye fan, to be honest. Yeah, there's not much else to say about him. Just an average looking skin with a nice color scheme. Let's see if he's secretly reactive at all. We'll get one elimination here. I don't see how anything could react on him, though. He doesn't really have much that could change. Hey! All right, we'll do one more. And I gotta get incinerated. All right, let's try the pickaxe now. It sounds pretty good. Not too bad. All right, so here we go with Kate. Let's see how she does on this glider. I like how the feet and the legs kind of illuminate. That is so cool. I think the glider alone makes this bundle amazing. Just a unique glider experience. To the right. Kind of angles with you to the left, backwards, the flame shuts off. Here's forward again, and just stationary. So the flame does get brighter when you press forward. Way cool. Weird noise, but cool. All right, so once again, the color scheme is just perfect. Everything flows, look at that. From the pickaxe, to the little light in the pickaxe, to the back bling. Even her hair. I know it's not purple, but there's like hues of purple in there. And I think that's just a reflection from her clothes, but it just looks like it flows perfectly. I love it. Spin around here. She's got two long bangs with a ponytail. That's kind of unique. Not much else to say. I just love the brighter pinkish purple effect, but in the dark, it looks a little darker than in the lobby. So here's the pickaxe pull out noise. See if there's a contrail. Yeah, same as Hawkeye's, a little bit of a purplish black. I'm assuming the splash effect is going to be the same. So again, I can't tell if that's just a normal splash or not. We're going to check in the locker. I really can't tell. It looks a little orangish to me. And I doubt she is secretly reactive, but let's go ahead and get at least three limbs. See if anything happens. Yeah, I really don't see anything that could be reactive on it. Nothing with two. Let's just get a pickaxe a limb for three. Dodging and weaving. Nothing doing there either. I like this pickaxe more than Hawkeye's, to be honest. That little glow is a nice touch. It's not much, but it's something. So another pretty plain skin, which is great if you don't want to stand out like a sore thumb. There's no animation. There's no bright glow. I think I prefer her pants over Hawkeye's as well. 
something was weird about him. I don't know. So there you go. That is the Hawkeye bundle. In my opinion, I like Kate a lot better than Clint, but just because her purple is a nicer color, in my opinion. Both back blings are just kind of eh. The glider, however, is what really sells this bundle. So yes, you could buy it individually for 800 but you may as well get the discounted bundle and have it included. Plus, you'll get the loading screen. Both pickaxes are just okay. I prefer the Pick Ross bow over Hawkeye's just because it's got more color to it and plus that little glow there in the middle. So real quick, I wanted to talk about that splash effect. So watch when I do this one. There's kind of a purplish orange effect and a lot of people say, oh no, that's not a splash effect. But watch when I compare that to one that doesn't have a splash. This is the default. See how yellow that is? Now watch this one again. So it's not much, but that is definitely a unique splash effect. It's kind of hard to see in game, but compare it to one that doesn't actually have one and you can really notice the difference. So both pickaxes do have a contrail and a slight splash effect, which is cool. So overall, a great bundle. But in my opinion, the Kate skin far outshines the Clint Hawkeye skin. But then again, the Aerial Archer outshines everything in this bundle because it's insanely awesome. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.